the six people on two rows and some people in between. Back to the long bus, bus gone. <laughs> So good morning, we are still in uh, Lake Atitlan in Panajachel right now. Yes. We are on a chicken bus. We're going to take a chicken bus from here to Antigua. Um, and we're going to show you the chicken bus because it's quite an experience. And the chicken bus is actually an old American school bus. Um, when they have like 100,000 miles or they're 10 years old, they export them and they bring them to Central America. And then they use it for the cheapest way of passenger transport that you can find all around Guatemala. Um, and they're known for being very colorful, being super cheap and having no maximum capacity. So they often have a lot of people on them. We'll see uh, what that turns into this time. Also, I'm pretty sure we have the best seat in the house because the seat right in front of the driver has a lot more leg space than the seats in the back. In front of the driver? Oh my god. In the seat behind the driver, we have a seat right behind the driver. He has a very sporty driving style. I think we will get there on time. No way we will be delayed when he's driving like this. Oh. He's driving like he's done nothing else his entire life. Probably that's the case. So they just gave us some money to take a small bus to Antigua. Spot, but yeah. it's not nearly as comfortable as the last one because there are people sitting next to us on all sides. <laughs> I think technically we're right in the in the aisle in the middle of the bus. It's comfy though, very comfortable. A lot of space. Yeah. It's a luxury experience. Ten out of ten. Would recommend to friends and family. Yeah. I think it's about one more hour. Yeah. I haven't seen any food so far though. No, I'm getting hungry. Yeah. Really hungry. Angry. I think we're getting pretty close to max capacity here. I think they can take another 50 people on board at least. So there's six people on two rows and some people in between. I think we're at max capacity. Stuck in between two priests. Why not? It looks like there's no space in the back, but people just keep passing by to the back. I wonder where all these people keep going. Is it like in the Harry Potter movies? I won't lie, I'm happy we made it. On bus, bus gone. Said it's gonna look for a parking spot. I have to remember which one is ours because there are that many here. My hero. That was a two or three hour chicken bus ride. I do have to say, for me, that is the personal maximum I can do while still being reasonably comfortable. So now, I guess we're gonna look for some food because, to our surprise, there are not that many people offering food on the bus. Usually you have like a lot of people getting onto the bus, offering delicious empanadas and tacos. None of that today, so we're gonna look for some food here. <laughs> Five ketchup or some chicken chips, not too shabby. We like it so much that we're actually having seconds. It's really good, super cheap. A lot of people here. It's like super local place. <laughs> 
So we just arrived here to the, to the gated community and this is the house we're staying at. So we're looking forward to it. And apparently they have a puppy. Hello, how are you? Hey. Nice to meet you. Hey, you too. Ben. Hey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. There's number two. Hello, it's Bobby. So cute. Yeah, there's her. Her mom's on the other side. Ooh, hi. This looks like a very sweet deal for 10 euros a night. It does. It does. It's really cool. Yeah. Nicely decorated. Nicely decorated. People very, very friendly. It has a few dogs. One small, small puppy. So I think it's perfect. Private bathroom. First one we have. 